Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here. And in the last video, we installed an ATX power supply in our Net A8. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use one of these little separate MOSFET boards, which is for the hotbed. Um, or again, you don't have to use one of these if you wanna upgrade the MOSFET. Typically on most boards, like the ramps, you can just desolder and resolder in a higher quality one. But for those of you that aren't comfortable with soldering, this is a really easy fix. Um, and something you could pick up for about eight bucks. Basically, there's two inputs, one for the 12 volt line for the hotbed and one for the hotbed uh, going out to the actual hotbed and then a source which is basically going to go from this little board to where the hotbed would plug into your actual board so we're going to go ahead and undo the beds cables as well as our power cables from our net a8 board um, it would pretty much be the exact same thing if you were using any other board, um, like a ramp setup, for example. So just go ahead and undo those cables. Then we're going to go ahead and take the cables for the hotbed. These are the ones that were going into the hotbed on the uh, ramps or the Annette board originally. Now they're going to go into here instead. And then we're going to take the 12 volt line. Uh, one of the 12 volt lines that we had and we're going to put that into the DC in portion of this board just like so after that this thin little cable is the source cable which is what tells the MOSFET or the board to turn the hotbed on we're just going to go ahead and strip that down a little bit so that way we have some more exposed wires and we're going to plug that in to where the hotbed was originally plugged in to the board before we actually installed this. And so now when the board triggers the hotbed and tells it to turn on, it'll trigger this board, which will then allow the hotbed to switch on or off. Then don't forget to reinstall your 12 volt lines to your board. That's still gonna power your various fans and your extruder and things like that. We're just using this separate line for the hotbed since that again draws so much power um, and it is a lot less strain on the board to have a dedicated MOSFET board with a heatsink and stuff like that, and a, definitely a higher quality one than the one that comes with most of these boards. So we got the power back in, and we're just gonna go ahead and put the sensor into where the hotbed was, again, so that way it knows when to switch on and off. And if all went well, you should have successfully installed it. And you'll know this because it'll have a red light. And when the hotbed is actually being triggered, it'll light up blue on the board. If you go with, again, the same one that I went with, uh, depending on what you go with, it might be different colors. But anyways, guys, this has been Dan from ModBot and how to install one of these little MOSFET boards. It's really simple, but I did have a request to make a video on this. So hopefully you will be happy and this will help you out with that. If you do like this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit a smack the like button on this video. And if you want to support it furthermore, links will be to my Patreon in the comments down below or the description. Thank you so much for watching and I am out. Peace, guys.